Hello, and welcome back to more Junk Jack with Brian, where I am continuing to explore the depths of Planet Umbra. And it has actually been, in my time, in this timeline, a, a number of days since I last played, because I had recorded a bit ahead, and people in the comments were pointing out all kinds of useful things that I didn't know, and so I decided I was going to stop you know, recording any ahead and wait for the videos to catch up. And so the previous episode, episode number 11 at this point, has already aired, and I've had a chance to see a few comments on that video, so I feel a little bit more comfortable moving forward. But just a few of the things that I had missed in previous videos include the fact that the nunchucks that I had been previously using as one of my weapons apparently had lifesteal on them, and I didn't realize it. It had like a fourth, fourth number associated with it. Uh, on the little, you know, 1.6 and 3 range and 241 uses kind of thing on the Grimer that I'm currently using. Um, there was a fourth number that seemed to be lifesteal. And so I was gaining uh, hit points back as I was hitting enemies with that weapon. Uh, and so I kind of never realized that during the whole time that I was using the nunchucks. And somewhere back on Seth, I believe it was, there were actually some coal blocks, which were kind of like dark black colored blocks that I guess would have yielded a lot of coal if I had dug them up, and so I'll be on the lookout in case I encounter those blocks again. Uh, apparently I just ran out of torches, so let me craft some. The torches have been replenished, and it looks like, eh, it looks like it's just kind of a number of bad guys over here, but not a whole lot of exciting new good stuff. And so I'm just gonna continue digging downwards. I would like to try to get to the bottom of this world relatively quickly, uh, find some more underground things if we can, such as the thing that's just starting to appear on the screen over here. And yeah, kind of, I don't know, fast forward a little bit into some more exciting bits because I do feel like uh, both Planet Seth and Planet Umbra kind of samey relative to the stuff that I had already managed to find. Oh, there's, a, there's two crates here in the background. That's pretty cool. Let's grab these crates and see if uh, Bone Dust and a biscuit. Biscuit sounds delicious. Flour, sugar cubes, chicken egg, and butter makes a biscuit. Um, it does sound delicious, actually. And bone dust. Uh, bones become bone dust. Great. Tinker's tools. And we've got another crate over here, which also has a recipe, which is great. And ooh. All right, there is some other good stuff in here, but first we have some bad guys to kill. I think I'm still using the normal arrows. At some point I'll switch to copper arrows, I suppose. But for now, the normal arrows are still doing enough damage. And we'll kill the little spider down there too. Ha ha! All right, so let's see. I got compact blocks. Interesting, dirt, compact, brown dirt, block. Okay, I seem to recall that when I, like, dug up dirt versus when I, um, kind of, like, placed dirt in the world versus, like, dirt that was naturally in the world or something. I don't remember exactly, but I remember seeing that there were different types of dirt, um, somewhere, and so I suppose that that's related to that, if I'm understanding correctly. It looks almost like there's a, something like that, you know, like a rat tail or insect leg or something that's down here, but... I guess it was just bits of bones or whatever that I was seeing down there. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Uh, oh, neat. It makes a noise when I walk on the surface, whatever it is. I'll probably try to pick some of it up. And this almost looks like kind of like an underground, I don't know, graveyard prison or something kind of thing down here. Let's see if I can break open this thing. Oh, need a stronger tool. It looks like it has a possibly an iron lock or a silver lock, and I don't have an iron key or silver key on me right now. Assuming that's what it is, but that could be good. I don't know that we've encountered that ever before. So my my hunch is to imagine that that might be some really good loot that'll be inside there. So I'd really like to find out what's going to be inside there. And, okay, we need a work hammer to break this. I'm also curious to break this stuff to see if it behaves like platforms. Uh, I presume I could, like, jump up through here. Can I hit this guy? I can probably hit this guy if he jumps over here. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to have a hard time jumping over here. Aha! Sounds like possibly if monsters are walking around on any of this stuff, they might also... Oh, gosh. <laughs> 
green king slime heart. I seem to recall I got another king slime heart and some slime bombs, okay. Can I? Yes, they are like platforms. Whatever this stuff was, what is it called? Tube bridge. All right, I'm actually going to replace this tube bridge over here. And I'm also going to place one of these right here so I can easily jump up and down. But yeah, that, <laughs> that sound is unexpected um, for whatever reason. I guess just because it sounds more like a breaking sound than a walking sound or something, uh, I think is maybe what causes my brain to not expect to hear that sound as I'm walking across these things. In any case, uh, I definitely I want to open that chest, but I also want to check out the rest of this crazy area. I don't know that I'm necessarily that interested in fighting all the mobs. So we'll try to find a way to get around. Oh, all right, let's see if when you jump up high, haha, -ha, there we go, I can hit you with this awesome weapon. Oh, there's a spider coming to get me. Go away, spider. All right, spider's gone away. Let's, uh, oh, here comes a bat. Hi, bat. Get hit with the glimer, grimer, whatever it is. And I presume this will end up like breaking the chain that's holding up this little light. Yeah, it did. But it'll also give me... Wow, okay, that guy shoots some crazy thingies. Let's make sure that I'm healed up before I go into battle with that guy. Oh, right, and I'd forgotten. I'd come up with a new strategy for killing various enemies. And it was to do that. Okay, he is very low on health now. And so let's see now if I can finish him off with my own weapons so that if he had drops, the drops would not get destroyed by the lava. It looks like they're just bones. All right, that's fine. So yeah, this is a crazy, crazy kind of underground place that I'm not sure I completely understand the, the theme or what everything is supposed to look like. There's a chest down there that I could get. Uh, there's another, like, I don't know, skeleton robot guy holding the candle. Bunch of bad guys down here. My inventory is getting pretty full, and I really do want to go try to get an iron key or a silver key and see if I can figure out uh, how to open. Oops, how to open that one uh, chest that we just passed right over here. So I'm gonna head back upstairs. Another, I don't think I mentioned this already. Another tip that someone gave me um, will be more relevant after I climb back upstairs. So I'll meet you at the top. So back on the surface, the tip that someone gave me is, I guess you can probably like break down these portal blocks. And so if you want, you could pick up, this is a Terra portal that's gonna take me back to Terra. You could pick up the portal blocks and bring them with you and then teleport back from somewhere downstairs, I guess, uh, is the impression I got from the comment that someone left. And so it would be cool to like get like extra Terra portal blocks or whatever. Um, and just be able to place kind of multiple portals as a way to kind of like teleport from downstairs to upstairs and different kinds of things. Um, so that's something I might play around with in the future. But for right now, I'm going to sort through my inventory. I've cleaned up my inventory and returned down here with an iron key, and I'm hoping that this is the thing that I need for this. You need a better key to unlock this chest. Yuck. Um, I don't think I have a recipe for a silver key back home, sadly, but I imagine that's what it actually needs. Hmm. So that might mean more recipes that I need to find. Well, I don't love that, but uh, my inventory is cleaned up, so I guess we can continue exploring. Uh, I noticed some of the bricks as I was putting them away, or maybe I still have them in my inventory. They're called sewer bricks, so I guess this is like an underground sewer here on Umbra that we are currently exploring. And goodbye, bat. And giant slime. I can probably just kind of avoid you if I do something like this and this. Uh, looks like we've got another giant slime over here and possibly a portal piece. Uh, and I'm very curious to see where that portal might take us. Even though we we'll only have one of the three pieces. Um, let's go ahead and break these things open. Did I get anything good? Potion of Vampirism makes you lead to life from enemies. Interesting. So there's like a potion that seems to have a similar effect to that weapon that I was wielding before. And let's see... I guess is this background stuff? It is, so I could actually jump up there. That guy's on a crate and I want the crate, but the guy's gonna drop down. So I could probably actually do this. If I just place, ah, there's a torch here. If I take out my torch and I move it over here and I stack myself up like this, and then I break where this guy is standing, and then will he jump down there? Yes, haha. -ha. And I don't think he can jump back up and now I can grab all the goodies, hooray. And I don't know if there was anything too good 
in that chest of goodies. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, a bunch more slimes. Oh, look at that. It's like a uh, skeleton head slime something. I guess back on... No, it was on this planet. It was on this... Oh, crap! No, 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 no. I don't want to be down here. Uh, I changed my mind. Uh, I've made mistakes. <laughs> um, Alright. I'm actually handling the enemies just fine right now, but... Uh, on the surface of this planet, there was like a uh, like bandaged up head that was kind of like crawling around the ground like a worm. And so now this seems like a skeleton head that's just hopping along like a slime or something. Um, don't know exactly what to make of all these things, but noticing some similarities and themes, I suppose. It's kind of like when you're playing Terraria and you first notice that the different components of the wall of flesh look like the Eye of Cthulhu. Um... And you're like, hey, they're reusing art assets or models or something to make <laughs> some of these different monsters. Okay, I took a bunch of damage there somewhere, so let's eat a bunch of potatoes. Heal back up. And, yeah, and so I presume it's like, you know, like a skeleton head that just got, like, repurposed as a slime monster. That would be my guess. Uh, if, I were, if I were developing games, that seems like it'd be an efficient way to do it. All right. They definitely have, like, a clunky dropped a hollow bone on the ground sound when you destroy some of these guys. Uh, so I do like that sound effect. And so long as I'm down here, go ahead and grab this. Uh, I don't think I got anything else too amazing out of that. And I can go ahead and jump stack up here. And now if I want to walk across here, neat, you can put a bridge there. Great. And this guy, okay, yeah, you just fall down there. I'm going to come over here and ignore you for the most part. Okay, here comes a bat. Hard to see the dark little bat against the background. And interesting. Okay, there's like a ladder up here. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here. There might be more up here. But one thing at a time. Let's kill <laughs> everything that moves. Actually, that guy... Mm, do I have better weapons to kill him with? How does the... Not that the spear is a great weapon. Okay, there's a bat who just came up from there. Uh, which really makes me want to... How can I get up there, though? I guess if I do this, and I got one higher like this, then I could jump up here. Here we go. Okay, I think the bat just spawned like in that tiny dark area right there. So having that lit up uh, should make things better. And yeah, I think we'll be more well defended now. And I might be able to just break this and not have to worry about uh, Slimer over here. I got a Alba portal piece. I feel like maybe I already have one of those. Can't remember the names of all the planets. Portal pieces that I found. And it does look like there might be something over here, so I want to take a peek. But otherwise, I might head down deeper, because I'd really like to find some new ores. Um, and so I think I'm going to go back to my main mine shaft and just try to head down deeper. Although, hmm, there might be some kind of ore hidden inside this block, actually. Let's break it open and see. I'm going to get some ladders. Are they the same type of ladders that I'm already carrying? No, they are rusty ladders. Okay, fascinating. New ways to clutter my inventory. I got the sewer floor decoration. And... What kind of ore did I just get? Copper. It was just copper in the background. Okay. As I'm walking back, I am curious to see there's like... Blocks that seem like they have skeleton bones inside them. So I break that open... Do I, like, pick up any bones or something? I don't think so. I see what looks like some candles, as well as some crates in the wall. That's interesting. There's another one of these, like, robot golem kind of dudes. Who... If I walk back to the right... There we go. Can I hit him over here? Yeah. I think I've got him relatively pinned down. So I think I can handle this battle. Ouch! Okay, he does a lot of damage, though. <laughs> Ten potatoes worth of damage. Or more. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy hits really hard, actually. Let's, um... <laughs> let's eat all our food. <laughs> and, hmm, do I have any bombs or anything on me? I probably do. Let's try throwing a couple bombs at this guy. Actually, let's try the lava bucket again. I keep forgetting about this uh, weapon. Uh, I guess it destroyed the pot. Does it deal damage to him? I think he might be immune. Might be the first enemy I've seen who's immune to the lava, which seems kind of reasonable, just kind of given, I don't know, the shape or nature of this guy. So I'm curious if I throw the bombs. Oops. 
Uh, let's see if I can throw the bombs at him. Oop, not at me. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is working at all. Um, let's see, did I try poking you with a stick? That doesn't seem all that super effective. Uh, are there any other weapons I've not tried? Um, yeah, I don't know if there are. And yeah, I think probably the the small is the best weapon I've got so far. I wonder if a sword uh, would work better against this guy. But we may never know. Oh gosh. All right. I guess there's a difference between taking melee damage from him and taking projectile damage. Or perhaps there's just a lot of variability in the amount of damage that you take. Maybe this guy will drop some awesome loot. I think he definitely has like the most hit points of any guy that I've encountered so far. All right. Combat's still simplistic, but it definitely does scale and things do get harder. Or at least more... Oh gosh. <laughs> more tedious. Let's see. I have an apple. Let me go ahead and eat that to free up some inventory slots. I don't have any healing potions, amazingly. Uh, and I got a beast hide. That's not going to help me. Okay, we're going to go through like all our potatoes here. There we go. And he dropped a major healing potion. All right, so that'll be useful. And before I... Oh, crap. Okay, there was a little... Ouch, go away. <laughs> a little bug or whatever inside that thing. And there's a crate up here. So let me get up here. And this crate contains a recipe for... Stone Bridge. That's another thing that I feel like maybe I already had this recipe. I'm not certain. That's at the workbench. All right. Fair enough. We can make a stone bridge. I do see some good things. Actually, I see something that looks like completely new over here, as well as some colored lights. So I'm hoping that we're going to find some awesome stuff. But first off, a normal box. After we defeat this bat, inside the normal box, we have... Uh, a copper spear, which is an upgrade from a stone spear. Has a little bit more range. Deals more damage. Alright, I'll start using that when the spear wears out. Maybe I'll use the spear a little bit more. So that it will wear out quickly. Oops, I don't think I have the recipe for uh, kind of upgraded spears yet. Um, wow, I'm really going to go through... Actually, let's take a little bit more damage and then I can consume this major healing potion. Not that I'm trying to take the damage. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and use it. Zink. Um, but these enemies, oh my gosh, he moves so fast. You see how fast that guy moves? It's crazy. Uh, let's just leave him behind me for now. Okay, so this thing in front of me right here looks kind of amazing. It looks like it could be some kind of machine or crafting station or something. It is black acid pot is an object. Interesting. I might have to read up about that, because that does not immediately sound... I guess a pot could be like a, a crafting station of some sort. Okay, so the blue light was being given off by this thing, and I'm curious if I back out on the map. It does look like down here there's more. There, it looks like a dangerous enemy over here, but I'm going to need to dig down anyway. Hmm. Do I want to go after dangerous bad guy? Let's try, since I have them on the bar. Let's see if I can possibly hurl some bombs at this guy that might hit him. Uh, it seems like the answer is probably no. Yeah, he's not taking any damage yet, so that strategy is not working very well. Um, I have uh, throwing daggers, it appears. Let's see if I can throw a few of them at him, possibly. Okay, they fly relatively straight. They got a little bit of a gravity arc. Okay, hop back up here. Alright, he doesn't... There we go. Hey, quit! <laughs> He's nimble. He's a clever dude. Uh, how about bow and arrow? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for right now is just kind of ignore that guy and go down to the other little area and we'll explore that instead. I can see above me over here that I actually broke open a little crate kind of thingy that had some, looks like some copper arrows and some other loot. And so I might want to try to go back up there to get that. Or maybe, oh crap, I can get that little, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy shooting the things to despawn first. Um, but let me go ahead and grab the things that are down here, and then, ah, <laughs> I keep not expecting to find the little bug who deals damage inside the pot, and then the little bug who deals damage comes out of the pot and surprises me each time. 
Alrighty, and let's do add some light down here just to get a sense, but I'll go ahead and just kind of block this over. And it looks like there's just some tiny enemies inside this little room. It should be easy to deal with. I'm not even sure that you count as an enemy. You might just be a critter who doesn't deal damage, kind of like that little spider. And in here, I got another Alba portal piece. So if I did have a third Alba portal piece back at home, that might mean that I have enough to get to a new world again. Uh, I can't remember for sure if I did or not. Let me look on the map. Uh, let me zoom out. Oh, wow. There's something very green down there. All right, let's at least go explore that first. Uh-oh. Uh, this guy has come and found me. <laughs> oh my god, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Uh, I think I will take that opportunity then to assume that he is not from up here, but this guy despawned, it looks like. Or maybe he found a way to get from here to there. I'm not sure, but that gives me an opportunity to light up this area a bit better and pick up the stuff that dropped from that pot. And then maybe the guy who just fell on my head down there will now have also despawned. Because monsters seem to despawn and spawn kind of just immediately off screen. Like, you don't have to go very far uh, in this game for the monsters to cycle. I also want to pick up these blue mushrooms because they'll give me another source of healing since I can eat them. And yes, we have switched up the monsters who are down here. Uh, the slime does not look as threatening, especially by virtue of the fact that if I do get the bombs back down here, I'm pretty sure I can deal some major damage to this guy with the bombs now. Yeah, okay. Slime destroyed. There's still this dude, but he is now dead as well. Great. I found some silver in the wall. It looks like there's a crate over there, and we're getting down to... That looks like, yeah, like acid, like instead of lava or something. It's like it's a, some kind of corrosive acid or something like that. That could be pretty interesting. Okay, another slime guy just fell back down. I wonder if I failed to light things up well enough, or... Could be the case that there's, like, different monster spawning requirements on different worlds or something crazy like that. So it might be the case... Ah, I did it again. Keep forgetting that those little bugs are gonna be there. Uh, it might be the case that, basically, you need, like, more light to prevent monsters from spawning in this world or something. I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, but just a hy hypothesis, so long as we're thinking these things over. Um, yeah, sure, let's... There we go. I should blow him up. Kabam! Alright. Slime's dead. Uh, various ores. I don't think I need the copper. I've already gotten some silver. So let's check out the... Ooh, is my inventory full? My inventory is full. Do I have anything I can eat right now? Um, I can afford two blue mushrooms. Da -da -da -da. Hooray. And now I can pick up... Uh, some iron. Okay, iron's good too. And I have... I can put away my lava bucket and then... Uh, try picking... Oh, and there's a thingy in here, too. Wow. All right. Let's go down near that. And then... Yes, assuming that I can use a bucket to hold whatever this liquid is. Let's see if I can do some clever liquid engineering. <laughs> liquid engineering! Uh, if I had been titling these videos, <laughs> that would be a good video title, probably. Uh, I'm going to put a light here. With the idea now, first off, I'm going to see, okay, I can replace that. Then we're going to get the lava bucket on the bar. We're going to put our lava down here, which will also kill those guys. Uh, we're going to cover it up for the moment. And then we're going to see if I can pick this up. And now it is acid. Okay. So I'm carrying around a bucket of acid. <laughs> Things I did not expect to hear come out of my mouth when I woke up this morning. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I've been a little bit under the weather the last few days, uh, and I can hear it in my voice. I'm not sure how much it like comes through to other people who are listening to me. And if I needed to get rid of something, yeah, I do have something I could discard. So let's see if this is going to be another. It is. It is a third Alba portal piece. So now I definitely have three. So I could make a portal to Alba. And yeah, I think that could be a good way to finish up this episode. So I will head back upstairs, and we will try going to a new planet once again. So in the interest of creating a teaser for the next episode, I'm going to place down three Alba portal pieces, and we will take a very brief look at the next planet. Living a dream! A beautiful place to live. That could be a nice change of pace. Are you friendly? Oh, you're not! Oh my gosh! It's beautiful, but it's terrifying. Um, wow. Okay. That is... 
I don't know. It looks it looks kind of like a cat cow or something. <laughs> um, it's a man eating leopard. And okay, that looks more like a kitty cat. Are you friendly? You're coming straight towards me, so I'm guessing no. Um, let's find out. Oh, you're friendly. Hooray! I found a friend. And let's find out the name of these blocks. They are red carmine dirt. Fascinating. And let's also chop down a tree. Which takes a while. And we get a green nanash tree sapling. Teal leaves. Oh, teal! Uh, I think this may be a new color, so I wonder if that could be kind of like the... Oh! Oh no! I found a uh, angry worm. <laughs> angry worm. <laughs> uh, that's what angry birds have for breakfast, right? Uh, oh my goodness! It's like a peacock. Okay, there's interesting looking creatures on this planet, if nothing else. So Alba is something that we have to look forward to in the future. Hey, peacock, are you friendly? You are friendly. Okay, great. Uh, despite the fact that you're friendly, I'm curious to know what drops you might have. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know the peacock dropped anything, actually. Oh, he dropped bird meat. All right, delicious. I'm eating peacock meat. Oh, and I also got a giant viburdinian sprout, which I guess is one of these things. Let me go ahead and actually just replant it immediately. Also, just to kind of get it out of my inventory. Yes, it seems like it. So you can plant these things, and these things grow. Kind of like a sugarcane tall-up thing. All right. Oh, and it looks like that's like a normal doggy over here. So maybe it has kind of normal animals as well as kind of these crazy animals. Um, like this angry boar or whatever it is. I don't know. In any case, um, it could be a little bit interesting of a new place. I feel like I'm going to kind of try to speed up the progression of these episodes because each world is a little bit samey with kind of like a different skin. Um, and so let me know what your feedback in the comments. Obviously, I'm, I've caught up to where the previous episode is aired, where I'm recording this episode. Uh, so I'm going to try not to get too far ahead again in case people have other suggestions or know other things about the game. But I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with some more Junk Jack. Bye-bye.